That is what Gabe Norwood is preaching. Just last week, Asi Tolava, speaking on behalf of the Philippine men's national basketball team, shared that this batch of national team players want to move on from the heel as ear of Philippine basketball. First of all, I want to correct that. This is Coach Yang's time. You know heel is, that's in the past. It's time to change the image of Philippine basketball. Under Coach Yang's time, we want to be known as Team Filipinas, declared the grizzled veteran, who has served the country since 2002. That statement was a start of a debate. Are monikers good for national teams, or should all the national teams be under one umbrella name? But Norwood, who has been with the program since 2007, expressed that the country wouldn't be competing on the world stage without the sacrifices of the original Hilas group. For him, Hilas is a tribute to them. It's been a process. It's taken so many years to really build a name and an image for our program. Even myself, the original group with coach Rajko Toroman, Chris Yu, Marcio Lassiter, Mark Barocca, that group that came in and sacrificed the early parts of their careers to really progress and get things started and let the pros step in shortly after with coach Chot Reyes and the entire program, Norwood shared. It's been a whirlwind, that's six to seven years, but at the same time that's a lot of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. Heelas has been the moniker of the men's basketball team since 2010. Other Philippine national teams also adopted team names for their squads, including Ascals, men's football, Malditas, women's football, blue boys and girls, softball, among others. It's no different for the Aussies and the French. For the Australians, they have the Wallabies, men's rugby, the Wallaroos, women's rugby, the Soxaroos, men's football, the Jillaroos, women's football, the Boomers, men's basketball, the Opals, women's basketball, and so on. Other nations have also adopted this for their men's basketball teams, including Japan, Akatsuki 5 Argentina, Los Condors Canada, Road Warriors China, Team Dragon France, Les Blias New Zealand, Tall Blacks, and for a time, the USA, Dream Team. Though everyone wants to erase the memory of the brawl in Bacar last July, removing the heel as name won't do it. For Norwood, the heel as program is more than just that moment. Heel as was about bringing joy and hope to the country. As cliche as it sounds, heel as was about puzo, will and compassion. I don't think we can truly appreciate the present or expect thing in the future without understanding the past. No matter what the name is going out, I think the things that were accomplished by the Healers program, if you want to call it by the name itself, you can't go out and ignore it. We were on the world stage, and I think that was ultimate gold, and hopefully we continued to be out there, no matter what the name is, he closed.